all of us are actually here in Montreal, uh, and we've been attending many, many panels and sessions at COP15, the UN Biodiversity Cup. Ian, in the previous panel, said we have 20,000 people here. That's five times more than the previous cup. And when you think about it, the main difference is really um, this massive arrival and presence from the private sector and especially from financial institutions. So I would like to ask you what opportunities concretely are there for investors to contribute to positive outcomes for our nature? Morning, everyone, and thank you for having me, Frank. Um, there are plenty of opportunities, but first we have to start. And what I mean by this is that the investors have largely been absent from nature financing of any kind. I mean, if you look at the gap that we are facing, it's about $800 billion, and this gap needs to be closed. Majority has been financed by governments. And if we don't start mobilizing private capital, we're going to have an issue. And you have opportunities across all asset classes, you know, from private assets to public markets. But we believe that it's crucial that we act in public markets. And the reason for this is that some of the biggest culprits to biodiversity loss are to be found in the public market. So active asset management is key here and active funds need to step up. Second thing where there is a big opportunity is with engagement. What we have found in our work with companies is that they don't routinely take into account biodiversity either as part of their risk management or strategic decision. So there is a big educational part to do. We have been trying to help corporates understand their impacts and dependencies on nature. And then the great thing about nature is obviously that you can act across all the sectors because it touches everything. So plenty of opportunities. We just need to start mobilizing private capital into this space. 